Neocov, the new deadly virus, is in use everywhere. But is it really the right time to worry about Neocov? Let's understand the truth behind Neocov today. First of all, Neocov is not a new virus. It is an old coronavirus found in bats and it is closely related to MERS coronavirus. It has 85% identity with MERS. And we all know that MERS outbreak was there in 2012 and 2015. But to note that Neocov is not a MERS virus and it is not a new variant of SARS-CoV-2 virus, which is causing the current pandemic. Although like MERS and SARS-CoV-2, Neocov also is a coronavirus, but it is different from MERS and SARS-CoV-2 virus. So why are we worried about Neocov suddenly? Let's understand. The scientists in Wuhan found that Neocov uses bat AC2 receptor to infect the bat cells. And we all know that SARS-CoV-2 virus use human ACE2 receptor to infect human cells. So the receptor used by both the viruses are ACE2, but Neocov uses bat ACE2 to infect the bat cells and SARS-CoV-2 virus uses human ACE2 to infect the human cells. And you should remember that this bat ACE2 and human ACE2 are not the same. So a virus which can use bat ACE2 to infect bat cell cannot infect human cell. So if ACE2 receptor are not the same in both cases, then can Neocov infect the human cells? For now, the answer is no. Till date, it has not infected any human cell. But the Chinese researcher found that if a certain mutation occurs, T5110F, that is threonine, is replaced by phenylalanine, then this Neocov virus can infect human cells 50 to 30 times more efficiently. And here lies the concern. If this mutation occurs, then only possibility to infect the human cell is there. Now, what is the likelihood of this mutation? The answer is, we don't know. Mutation occur and that is the reason virus jump from animal to human and this type of disease are called zoonotic disease and this is zoonotic transfer. For example, SARS-CoV-2 is an example of zoonotic transfer from bat to human. Now, if this mutation happens and the Neocov starts to infect human cell, then it will become deadly. It will have a very high mortality rate, 33%, that is 1 in 3% will die and the virus will be very transmissible like Omicron as it uses ACE2 receptor like the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And it is found that the virus which use ACE2 receptor are more transmissible. But again, we have to remember that all zoonotic transfer do not become pandemic. So let's not hype anything and spread misinformation. Let's gain the knowledge, but no need to panic. From the lab study, they found that antibodies from SARS-CoV-2 or MERS could not stop the Neocov virus. That means the antibodies from SARS-CoV-2 or MERS will not work against Neocov. Sounds a bit scary, but we have to remember that all these studies are lab studies and whether the virus will evolve as predicted is completely uncertain. We need further study to tell something. Only if lab leak occurs with the experimental virus, there is a chance of outbreak with Neocov. For the time being, we no need to be scared of Neocov as it is not spreading in the human. Let's try to fight against Omicron by following the COVID norms. Stay safe. Thank you.